The career development pillar for the medical student affairs team is where I place most of my emphasis and I have the pleasure of working with students from the very beginning of their academic journey all the way through um, their fourth year where they're um, applying for residency and through Match Week. A few examples of the programming that we offer include for M1s, I focus on planning for their first summer experience, which is typically research, but we also have students that do service opportunities. Second year students, the emphasis tends to be more on career assessment and inventories focused on specialties, as well as engagement in our career interest groups through the Careers in Medicine program. We model our Careers in Medicine interest groups after the AAMC's framework, which is to focus on specialties that students can apply directly into for residency. Each group has an assigned faculty liaison for students to have as a mentor, and usually one or sometimes two student interest group leaders that facilitate the programming each year. So I came to medical school not knowing what specialty I wanted at all. I joined every interest group when I started medical school because I didn't know what I wanted. Um, and through careers in medicine and through participation in interest groups, I've gotten these amazing mentoring opportunities and networking opportunities that I wasn't expecting and I don't think I would have gotten if I didn't participate in this type of programming. So a lot of students don't know about urology, so I really wanted the opportunity to build this program out so that students could learn more about this amazing field with an amazing lifestyle, wonderful research opportunities, and spectacular faculty. A typical event could look anything like a panel of urologists from a wide variety of fields, or it's simulation activities where we're actually in the Sim Center here at Rush do putting in a Foley catheter and learning how to do that from M4s. So it's really this amazing pipeline program where M1s are learning from M4s who are learning from residents and the faculty are there guiding us along the way. Our third year students, we actually run a series of career and elective advising sessions that are held in the fall. And that's to give students full exposure to those specialties and introduction to either the residency program directors or their assistant program directors. We offer a careers in medicine elective, which is an independent study tied to the curriculum for M3 students only. And what it is, is an opportunity for those students to take advantage of the elective time that's built into their schedule and choose a specialty that they don't get any exposure to during the core curriculum. Specialty that they want exposure to as part of their curriculum, but it's not something they'd necessarily get to apply into for residency. For the fourth years, we do targeted programming specific to residency application, which is incorporated in some of the courses as well as the, the career programming that we do. I started off my first year uh, doing research with some of the attendings at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. During my third year rotations, I was really able to kind of take advantage of our dedicated uh, elective time and, and use the Careers in Medicine elective to kind of create a, a custom elective in orthopedic surgery for myself. So the kind of beauty of the Careers in Medicine elective was really a, a kind of a two week immersive experience one on one with attending of my choosing to kind of dive into the field of orthopedic surgery and in sports medicine in that time. He's been an incredible advocate um, and asset for me. Students can very easily get sucked into feeling like they're pressured to make a decision early on. And while there is there are some timing constraints that students have to be aware of, they need to make as much of an informed decision as possible. They have a lengthy team of support through medical student affairs. Um, again, it's the faculty advisors, it's faculty liaisons for careers in medicine, it's myself, our associate dean for medical student affairs, um, and any mentors that they might meet along the way. 